So we're going to talk a little bit about how you measure gas pressure, whether it's from the blanket of air around us or from a sample of gas. Here we have a picture of what is called a mercury barometer. Effectively, what we have is a glass tube closed at one end, filled with liquid mercury in this tube, and then we essentially have a valve that allows us to have this open to the outside air. Or you could imagine we could block off one of these ends here, attach some sort of gas sample here, and open the valve, and then all of a sudden, instead of measuring the pressure of the air, the atmosphere, we could be measuring the pressure of that sample of gas attached here. Now, really what's gonna happen is this. Let's step back for a moment and imagine this. Let's cut off the top of this closed end tube. Well, effectively, what we have is a straw or, much like in your bathroom sink, a U-tube effectively here. And what you would find is if you could see through both sides of the straw, you would see that the level of the mercury on this side would be the same as the level of the mercury on this side. And that makes sense. It's the blanket of air pushing down here. It's the same blanket of air pushing from this side so those pushes have to be the same, and that's why we would see a balance. Next time you have a straw and a drink, take a look at the inside of the straw and the outside of the straw. You're gonna find the liquid levels are pretty close to the same. There's some other things going on there which might complicate it a little bit, but as the straw gets bigger, you're definitely gonna notice that. So, if we close off the end of the tube again, and have this end open to the atmosphere, that blanket of air. Well, again, there's 110 kilometers or so of air pushing down, wanting to push down on the surface of the liquid mercury here. Well, since we've sealed off this end, we've got to imagine there's no gas in there. We made a vacuum. So effectively, as we've got that blanket of air pushing down, pushing down, pushing down, until we push the mercury up to a certain point. What's that point going to be? Well, again, it's going to be when the weight on one side, the push on one side, is equal to that on the other side. The blanket of air pushed, the weight of all that air, is now balanced out by the weight of that liquid mercury. Liquid mercury is much more dense. It doesn't take as much of it to get this response. And so it turns out that we can measure the atmospheric pressure literally by the weight of mercury that can be held up by that blanket of air. And again, if we wanted to change things, connect some sort of gas sample here that's got some sort of pressure that may be different than the external atmospheric pressure, the blanket of air, well, it's still gonna be the same thing. Whatever the pressure is here pushes down on this end and a weight of mercury is going to be used to balance that push on the other side. So the pressure of a gas is effectively going to depend on the barometric pressure and some change in pressure, which is really denoted by the height difference in mercury in the tube, because that height difference can be directly correlated to the weight of the mercury and therefore the pressure.